in this year's FLL season, one of the most interesting tasks, or actually two of the most interesting tasks, are the expert delivery and the audience delivery. Now, when I reviewed videos and when I put together my one-day robot, I found that the most common places I or teams could score better was in how they did the audience and expert delivery. However, if you watched my video on how your team should choose FLL tasks, you may have seen that the audience delivery and the expert delivery were the variable tasks, and that's because teams of different levels should choose different ways to accomplish it. In this video, I'm going to talk about how my one-day robot looked at this task and how I looked at this task for my 550-point video, which took about two weeks, so my two-week robot. Let's start by talking about the tasks. For the expert delivery, there are five experts which are located around the field and the home area, and each of these experts has a specific place they want to go. And for every expert that gets to the specific place they're supposed to go, we score 10 points. Now for the audience members, there are seven audience members, and these start in the home area. And there are seven different places the audience members can go. Now, for each audience member that is delivered to one of these places, we score five points. But also, for each area that now has an audience member completely in it, we also score five points. You may have noticed that both the audience members and the experts want to go to many of the same locations. So planning how to do these should be done at the same time. Let's start with a one-day robot. First of all, I felt that we should go as simple as possible. So, which experts were easy to get, harder to get, and easier or harder to deliver? Well, there is one expert that starts in the home area, and it goes to the museum. And so I thought, what better way to go about it than just deliver the audience member and Anna, the art curator, and a masterpiece to the museum, all in one go. And actually, for a lot of teams that are relatively new, this is how I would go about it, because you get 40 points from all the audience members, but in the same movement, you score the 10 points for the expert and the 30 points for the masterpiece. Now, obviously, delivering all of the audience to one place doesn't score as much as delivering all the audience to different places each. However, it is way simpler to deliver many audience members to one area than to deliver one audience member to every single area. If we want to score all the points, though, it isn't good enough to put all of the audience members in one area. We have to put one audience member in each area. And so, the first thing to figure out, since I did most of the audience members in one run, is how do we independently deliver each audience member? On my robot, for the film set and the light show, my robot passively dropped the audience members off. Actually, for the film set, my robot finishes the entire match there. So, on board the robot, we just have an audience member that would land in the area. For the light show, though, we add a clever mechanism that just holds up the audience member, and as soon as the robot drives into the light show enough, the light show tower just pushes off the audience member, which is only weakly attached to the mechanism, and that drops it down. I also have a little bit at the bottom to help catch the audience member so it doesn't bounce away from the light show area. However, for the skate park and the cinema, and the theater have to do something a little more interesting. I developed a conveyor belt system which delivers sections, and it dumps off each section starting at the skate park, then the theater, and the movie set. And this allowed me to use one attachment motor to deliver three different areas. 
We also pushed the audience member with the masterpiece and Anna, the museum curator, to the museum in the same run. I've also seen teams push out a mechanism that drops an arm to score an audience member in the theater, as well as put an audience member and Emily, the VFX director, in the cinema area. This is also a good alternate solution. Now, another thing important about the experts is how do we actually get them? I mentioned in a number of my videos now at this point that the experts are the only mission models that we're supposed to collect and then deliver somewhere else. So, how do we collect the experts? First of all, I think the hardest expert to collect is Sam the Sage Manager, because he's kind of placed in a rather secluded part of the map. However, there are clearly many ways teams have gone about this, whether it would be spearing into the loop, or a large gate that grabs experts, or probably a few other solutions. You can even push one of the experts into the home area. I do highly recommend making sure that if you intend to grab these experts, that you also have a plan in place to deliver them, because it doesn't score points just to collect said experts. Finally, I think everybody has figured out that the experts this year are very fragile and easy to fall apart, so please handle them carefully. Thank you for watching this video. Please do feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Now, if you want to hire me on Fiverr, you can check me out here. Or, if you don't want to have to pay Fiverr and get the same services, send an email to this email address down below. If you're wondering what I can do, I've had one team reach out to me, and I actually found they had almost nothing done, and we were able to get them a few of the missions this year done within an hour meeting. So yes, I have absolutely been able to help FL teams uh, do better at the competition.